book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. Shabbat Shalom, and thank you all for tuning in. During this Bible study or lesson, we are going to burn the midnight oil and get a distinct perspective on what the dry land and seas are. Hope you all enjoy the lesson, and let's begin. And Yahweh Elohim said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together to one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And Yahweh Elohim called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And Yahweh Elohim saw that it was good. The Most High declared the ending from the beginning. So let us turn to the book of Revelations and what Yahweh Elohim set forth to what exactly the waters are. Revelations chapter 19 verses 4 through 6. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped Yahweh Elohim that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our Elohim, all you his servants, and you that fear Yahweh Elohim, both small and great. And I heard, as it were the voice of a great multitude, and the voice of many waters, and the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Hallelujah, for Yahweh Elohim omnipotent reigneth. So here in Revelations, we see a mighty gathering, a declaration, a loud blaring, praising Yahweh Elohim for his righteous judgments. Elsewhere, where the Most High declared this prophecy, the book of Acts, chapter 17, verses 29 through verse 31. For as much then, as we are the offspring of Yahweh Elohim, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like to gold, or silver, or stone, graven by art, and man's device. And the times of this ignorance, Yahweh Elohim winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent, because Yahweh Elohim have appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by the Mashiach whom he hath ordained, whereof the Mashiach hath given assurance to all men in that he have risen him from the dead. Going back to the book of Revelations, chapter 10, verses 1 through 3. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was on his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot on the sea, and his left foot on the earth, and cried with a loud voice, as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And Yahweh Elohim said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together to one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And Yahweh Elohim called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And Yahweh Elohim saw that it was good. The book of Revelations, chapter 17, verses 1 and 2. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying to me, And the me in the book of Revelations is John. Come here, and I will show to you the judgment of the great whore that sitteth on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Revelations 19, 1 through 3. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power to Yahweh our Elohim. For true and righteous are his judgments. For Yahweh Elohim hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and have avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Hallelujah, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. Now I'm going to shift the focus to verses 11 and 12, leaving the intent that the waters and dry land are figuratively nations or people receiving judgments from the Most High. And Yahweh Elohim said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb, yielding seed, and the fruit tree, yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself, on the earth, 
and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and the herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And Yahweh Elohim saw that it was good. The Book of Revelations, Chapter 9, Verses 1 through 4. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven to the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts on the earth, and to them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of Yahweh Elohim in their foreheads. If you like the content so far, hit the like and subscribe button. So let's go to Second Samuel chapter 23, verses 3 through 7. And thus speaking is King David. The Elohim of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me, He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of Yahweh Elohim. And he shall be as the light of the morning when the sun rise, even a morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after rain. Although my house be not so with Yahweh Elohim, yet he made with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things, and sure, for this is all my salvation, and all my desire, although he make it not to grow. But the sons of Baal shall be all of them as thorns thrust away, because they cannot be taken with hands. But the man that shall touch them must be fenced with iron and the staff of a spear, and they shall be utterly burnt with fire in the same place. The Book of Revelations, chapter 22, verses 1 through 4. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of Yahweh Elohim and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielding her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of Yahweh Elohim and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Revelations chapter 22 verses 11 through 16. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am the olive and the tav, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth, and maketh a lie. I, Yehoshua, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. The Book of Genesis, Chapter 1, Verses 9 through 13. Until next time, Shalom. Hallelujah, and all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahshua, HaMashiach, our High Priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. Lift off and the clock has started.